Hey guys, welcome back. This is an additional lecture from our Ruby on Rails bootcamp series. So far, we discussed basics of Ruby, working with Rails MVC, Active Record, Action Controller, Action View, Action Helper, Action Mailer, and Active Storage, and custom theme integration and many more topics. We also discussed about the partials that how to use them to refactor the view templates and by using partials, how we can avoid multiple appearance on same piece of code at multiple places. Okay. In this additional lecture, we are gonna doing the same thing using partials. Okay. You already know that we are managing all of our resources into this course project into the admin name space okay and we have validation applied to all the resources that is fine but if you can see that we have same validation logic written at its resource form okay uh, not actually validation logic just uh, the chunk for displaying the error code okay so for example if you can see at the admin directory let's open the courses form first here you can see that we have this view chunk for displaying course error messages into the course form and if you can see at the projects form that we have the same piece of code uh, for displaying error messages for projects resource and we have the same thing for students as well okay and if we will add another resource then we will do the same thing again okay but this is the thing that you would like to refactor using partial okay so uh, in this lecture we will discuss that how we can do this and or how we can refactor this error piece of code from our resource forms okay so let's do that so as the first step you need to create a shared directory inside the app views admin okay so here you can see that we are at the app views admin here so now what you need to do that you need to create a shared directory okay so just right click on the admin and create a new directory and name it as shared okay and in the shared directory now you need to create a partial okay and name this partial as underscore error dot html dot erb because we are we are gonna use this partial for displaying errors on the resource forms okay so just use that you can name it error dot html dot erb and now we need to place the view code to display the form errors into this partial that we created for displaying the error messages okay so here you can see that we have three forms uh, courses projects and students so let's take uh, this error piece of code from courses form and let's place this piece of code into the error.html.erb okay now let's properly indent this and now what we need to do that we need to display this error form using we need to render this error partial now into the course direct into the course form okay so how we can do that render as we know that we can render partial using this keyword render and now we know that our partial error partial is inside the shared directory into the admin so that's it admin shared and name your partial here error okay but what we need to do one more thing here that here you can see that we just rendered this partial but we cannot know this course why because we don't know this what is this course here so we need to pass this course as a local here so how we will pass this course as local here so we can pass this as like let's say model and name your model and provide your model name here so here we are doing this at the course form so we can use course okay and when we do this for other resources like projects and student then we will use projects and student for as the model name okay now what you need to do that uh, since we are receiving the model name at the error partial so we can use here model at place of courses so model dot errors dot any and here we can use model dot errors dot counts okay and now at this course what we can do we need to display the model class name okay so prohibited this model dot class 
okay now again replace this course dot errors as well uh, just state model dot errors okay because we are getting this model as a par local variable okay and we are passing this local from here okay now let's open the courses form into the browser so go to the resources and from resources open the courses form okay and when you click on the courses you will see the form has been opened and now when you click on the create course you can see the errors that three errors prohibited this course from being saved name can't be blank description can't be blank and description is too short okay now what we need to do as next thing that we need to copy the same render line and just place this at the projects form and remove this code piece of code okay, and save this okay and do the same just replace this course by projects okay so now we are passing project at the model name okay and do the same thing for a student and just uh, replace this model name by a course to a student okay and now you can save this and when you save this let's open the projects new when you click you can see here that you are seeing the projects new form and when you click on the create project you will see the same three errors and now you need you can check this same the same thing on students new and when you click on the create student you will see the same errors that seven errors prohibited this student from being saved so this is the class name which we invoked here like uh, student dot class okay and the student dot errors dot count is representing how, how many sorry model dot errors dot count that how many errors are available for that resource that we are using as a error partial here okay so this is very simple and this will definitely help you to design better systems okay so now you can see that we do not have the same piece of code of displaying errors at every resource form okay here we can simply uh, manage this piece of chunk uh, piece of code for displaying error messages inside a shared partial and then we can render that partial into the resource form wherever required okay so this has been done now let's add some bootstrap bootstrap effect to the error messages okay so here you can see that we are getting this error messages like this okay so let's make it much better okay so we can add these error messages inside a card okay so let's remove this class and we can add a class here sorry let's remove that id and add a class here class card and into that card we can add card body okay and we can move all of these code inside the card body okay properly indented and now when you refresh the page okay click on the new student and click on the create student okay so now here you can see that the errors are displaying inside the bootstrap card okay if you wish you can display these error messages further inside the bootstrap alert as well so let me know how, uh, let me show you how you can do that so let's open the getbootstrap.com okay. and in getbootstrap.com just click the version 4.6 docs because we are using bootstrap version 4 into our course project okay now you can go to the components and you can open the alerts link okay here you can see that there are multiple alert kind of messages okay so we can copy this danger alert message danger and uh, now we can display our error messages inside this div okay so just uh, remove this ul because for displaying these messages inside alert box we don't need the ul li items okay and you can remove this one as well and this closing as well closing li as well now paste this code here and you can place this here 
and you can add this text inside the p tag class okay, let's make it lead okay and close this p tag here now you can save it and when you you can refresh the page or let's simply go to the students new again okay and click on the create a student okay now you can see that your error messages are much better right now okay so you can see that error messages are displaying into the card and you can display the each error message individual error message into the bootstrap alert as well okay so this is what uh, I want to show into this lecture however the styling part is totally optional and up to you if you want to do that you can do it if you not want to do then just skip this part but using a single partial for displaying the same error messages as multiple places will definitely be helpful for you and this will also give you idea of extending the use of partials okay so that's all from this lecture I hope you enjoyed this lecture and thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture with another important topic till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe